This time we're going to look at a hello machine. And in case you didn't know what a hello machine is, well, it's a phone. An old one, a real phone. Not one of these cheap Chinese plastic pieces of crap. Oh, no, no. This is a real one with a real bell. But the problem is, well, this one's been sitting around for a while out in all kinds of weather conditions and it don't ring no more. So let's fix it. This is an old GTE automatic electric vintage phone. This is a real vintage one. I know you can buy replicas now and I've seen several people that have the replica. But this is an original one, complete with the kink that everybody always got in the phone. Found this one in the dumpster. Don't work properly. Let's fix it. See why it doesn't work. So the, these ones had a dial that you could pop out with a spring. This is where you would put the card that you would put your phone number and stuff on. Actually, this is just a card on this one, but to cover up the, the keypad. But um, normally the phone number would be stuck on a sticker there. This one, the bell doesn't work. So let's see why the bell is not working. These come apart real easy because they were designed to be serviced back in the day when things actually were serviced. Oh, property of BC Tell, not for resale. Yes, this is uh, good old BC telephone days. This would have been a rental phone of the day. And I picked it up in the dumpster that had been tossed out. And let's see why the bell doesn't work. Looks like half the bell is missing. It's only got the, the one part of the striker, but, uh, but it's not working. So let's see if we can figure out why the bell is not working. Is it not working because it's disconnected? I see a wire that's taped off here. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. So I'm going to dial my home number. Hopefully nobody else will answer. And we'll see if this thing even attempts to ring. Oh, busy. Why is my phone busy? We'll try that again. Maybe the switch hook's also got a problem. So it's trying to do something. So we have a ringer that is not responding properly. It's either A, because the ring voltage is too low. It could be because I've got a bunch of phones on here. Or it could be the ringer itself is uh, not operating properly. So in addition to the ringer not working, this one actually has a switch hook problem. Because if I dial my home phone, for example, we get... And the reason we're getting that is because the, the switch hook even though it's closed, is not completely disconnecting the line. If I push it way down like this, it does. But when it normally where it sits, it's not disconnecting the line. Only if I push it way down like that. So we have a switch hook problem. Let's fix that. I'll deal with the, the ringer late, later. It might just be that the ringer itself is gummed up because it's been sitting so long. Um, in a recycle bin. It was full of water when I found it. I've actually had it drying for the, about the past month because I got it right after the torrential rains and it was full of water. So let's pull that switch apart and see what's wrong with it. Just pop apart like that. Our, our hook is down here. Our switch is down here and this circuit board should be held in place by I think just one screw and then this whole board will lift out I know someone's gonna say who has home phone why do you bother why who has a home phone and uh, to answer that question, actually quite a few people still have home phone. And I'm one of them. That lifts out just like that to this side. Nothing beats the sound quality of an old home phone. That's for sure. And uh, I still have one because, well, I still use it 
on a regular basis and um, you know I've got a cell phone but um, I still prefer to use the home landline as opposed to the cell whenever possible and get into the switch and see why it's not working I mean typically these are just little contacts it's just, it's just a leaf switch is all it is I should be able to pop this thing apart quite simply without even having to unsolder it from the board take that spring off and the switch should pull apart there we go and this is all it is it's just basically contacts that are broken like that when you hang it up and I'm thinking what's happened is one of the contacts is is bent and it's not releasing the line until you push it way down so this is what happens when you hang up the phone this contact presses against this switch this contact breaks from this switch and this contact breaks from this switch and attaches to the other switch at the back like that so I'm going to clean these I'm just going to uh, give them a, a good one over with some uh, contact cleaner we'll put some uh, aluminum oxide paper through there just to take off any any dirt that's on the contacts and then uh, I'll put the switch back together and we'll test it again and see whether I've made any improvement on it. And you can see there's no problem with the soldering on here. This was all done by hand pretty much and uh, when they built these things I'm sure this was probably done by hand. may have been dipped but uh, certainly no problem with the soldering on that board. It's The problem is going to be the switch here itself. Just the contacts on the switch are uh, are bad. So for that matter I can slip the board back in place. Don't need to have the board out to work on this. But let me clean these contacts up first and see if that fixes it. So first I'll just take my aluminum oxide paper and just kind of run it through here between the contacts to clean them up a bit. And then we'll give them a shot of contact cleaner. Give them a shot of neutral. This was actually developed for the phone industry. One of the best cleaners that we've seen in many, many years. And it was it was basically developed for the telephone industry to clean the crossbar and stroger switches. Can put the switch back together and the spring back on the, the switch here. It pulls the switch back. One side of it clips under here, and the other side clips right up onto the switch itself. Let's uh, see whether it's uh, doing any better this time. All right, now I've just got the weight of the receiver holding the switch hooked down. We'll see whether my phone rings or whether my phone is still busied out. And it, uh, it rings. Just checking to see if there's any noise and it sounds good so that part works now it's just a matter of making this ringer ring a little louder alright I'm gonna put the phone back together now we'll check it and see whether it's going to actually disconnect when I hang the phone up because this was the problem that it was holding the, the phone off the hook and we'll see whether that bell is going to do anything even if it makes a clicking sound I'll be happy but uh, if it makes a nice loud ring, I'll be even happier. But let's just get this case back in. You gotta gotta kinda stick it in here at an angle, and there's a pin that's gotta go over. There's a pin here that has to go over top of a little hole in the case. They really made these things well. And they made them, I think, to keep people out of them. 
made like a puzzle to put that together. And typically, if you can solve a Rubik's Cube, you can put one of these phones back together, no problem. Okay, that is that. Looks like I have a dial tone. So let's just try phoning and see whether this phone will ring. Oops, wrong button. Try that again. It's ringing, so I'm not getting a busy signal. And I've got a dial tone. Therefore, the switch hook is now working properly. Good. Well, we're, we're part of the way there. Now we just need to figure out how to make that bell work a little bit better as this bell doesn't work. I go check one of my other old phones and see if I've got another bell, another ringer unit that I can swap out. I have a real bell here out of an even older phone. This one was out of a phone that uh, doesn't have a dial. It was like a taxi phone, right? Where you picked it up and it had a direct line, but it does have a bell in it because it could be it could be called. I wonder if this bell will fit. It looks like the looks like the holes line up. I just have to take out this one screw that holds this one in place, and the other bell should drop right in. Will it fit though? That's the thing. Is it uh, is it going to fit physically? I think it probably will. There's holes on the the chassis that line up with the. All right. There's holes on the chassis that line up with the bell, and I can just use the original screws that held this one in place on the original phone into this cabinet, and we'll see how loud this one is. I want something that'll wake the neighbors when the phone rings. Nothing like the old authentic phone that you could hear out on the street when it rings. I might even put this one in my shop. Although I do have a wall phone on the shop here, but the bell doesn't work in it either. But there, that's mounted in there. Now let's just connect the wires up. It's going to obviously connect to the same place that the other one did, so I'll just take the dial out of here momentarily so that I can get at the wires and We'll unplug the original the original bell which plugs in up front here there's a green wire and a red wire there's the green and I think the red one is this one here so take out the green and the red and Put the green and the red for the new bell in place and they just happen to be the right length of wire of course because these were all a standard part that would be serviced in the field by the phone guy when he came over to your house when you said my phone's not ringing and he came over to the house and found that it was a defective ringer and you wanted to be able to just swap out the ringer they were all standard parts so that the phone tech that came over to your house could just replace the bell just like that. Let's see how this one sounds. Now that is more like it. Okay, we'll put this one together. Yeah, I know. It's still plugged in. We'll put this one together and uh, give it one last test and then we'll close this one off. And this will be the first video for 2022 and many more to come. Now I can put the, the rest of this unit back together. Put the put the clip 
back in. And we'll give it one last call and make sure everything still works. Gotta like the sound. Thanks for watching.